Today, the governor announced $44 million are going to be used to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on high needs students ages preschool to higher education. We went to Clayton Early Learning Center today to find out how preschoolers are handling this new normal. Let's go. Clayton Learning Center is open at about one third capacity. My mom waited me to go back to school. Getting back to school is important for these kids' social and educational development, but they're dealing with a lot of change. And my teacher said we can't walk in the front door. The playground equipment is cordoned off, and they're learning to wear masks. There you go. Everybody struggles when things change all of a sudden. And that can be particularly difficult for young children because their brain really thinks in patterns. The staff at Clayton developed these stories to help the kids understand some of the changes they'll see. If something is going to be different, if they know about it ahead of time, then they can be better prepared to regulate once it happens. <laughs> these preschoolers are absorbing the stress of this collective trauma in ways that make sense to them. I went to the zoo yesterday. You went to the zoo yesterday? Yeah, when it was fine, the world was fine. Now it's not fine because the coronavirus. Sometimes we look to protect our kids, and in that protection, we don't give them the information and the tools that they need. Karen Wolf recommends being honest with our children about the pandemic, using words and pictures they can understand because they do understand. It makes you sick. If you if you get a treat, it'll, it'll be nice and go away. Those are cute kids. Now, in addition to the stories, the staff at Clayton Early Learning Center did more than 10 hours of training in order to reopen safely.